Welcome. Today, we unravel procrastination, exploring ancient philosophies like Stoicism, Taoism, Buddhism, and Epicureanism, decoding their wisdom on tackling this issue. Let's stumble upon their lessons. Diving right into the thick of things, we step into the grip of procrastination. Here we observe four noteworthy philosophical interventions into this age-old issue. Stoicism, for instance, views procrastination as an emotional disturbance and proffers immediate action as a remedy. The Stoics believe in seizing the present and letting go of fears about future outcomes, teaching us that focusing on now can promote workflow. Taoism, then, counsels us about the value of aligning with the natural flow of life, implying that forced effort can lead to procrastination. But what does Buddhism have to say? They propose mindfulness, observing any discomfort that arises with patience and without judgment, fostering a direct response to procrastination. Lastly, there's Epicureanism. They extol the joy of completing tasks for long-term satisfaction, further emphasizing that immediate gratification isn't always beneficial. These diverse philosophies illustrate that dealing with procrastination isn't one-size-fits-all. Different strategies resonate with different individuals, each allowing us to handle procrastination in our unique way. As we learn, let us remember, recognizing procrastination is the first step in overcoming it. Now, armed with Stoic fortitude, Taoist flow, Buddhist mindfulness, and Epicurean satisfaction, we can face our procrastination head-on. Stoicism, born in ancient Greece, championed action to combat procrastination. Taoism, rooted in Zhou Dynasty China, promoted harmony with life's flow, insinuating forced efforts could spur procrastination. Insightfully meshing these philosophies yields an intriguing procrastination management strategy. Taoism advocates natural growth, while Stoicism encourages caring for what has grown, echoing the mantra of stress-free productivity. Amidst this practical wisdom, we must acknowledge the people and historical circumstances that shaped these philosophies. Stoicism underpinned the leadership method in the Roman Empire, championed by historical figures like Marcus Aurelius. Buddhism, introduced by Siddhartha Gautama, the Buddha, spread across Asia via the Silk Road, indicating the broad reach these philosophies had beyond their beginnings. Their contextually emboldened teachings continue to offer various tools for handling procrastination today. Dichotomy of control rests at the heart of Stoic philosophy, providing a unique solution to procrastination. Stoics advise us to focus on things within our control, such as our actions and efforts, while disregarding what lies outside of it, external reactions or unforeseen events. This practice can prove transformative as we see with Alex. Adopting stoic habits like morning reflections on controllable aspects of life and evening reviews of his actions, Alex managed to transition from a procrastinator to a productively stoic individual. Instead of dwelling on missed chances, Alex cultivated discipline through a focus on his personal efforts and deliberate action, the things within his control. This conversion showcases the power of Stoicism's principles against procrastination. Meditations provides further testament to Stoic philosophy's practical applicability. This text shows Stoicism as a tool for action-oriented living, offering a strategy for overcoming procrastination even in the face of adversity. In our continuous struggle against procrastination, Stoicism provides a lasting, historical, and validated approach, one which champions our focus on personal efforts above all else. Diving into Taoism, harmony emerges as a guiding principle in overcoming procrastination. When one aligns with the nature and requirements of a task, akin to the symbiosis witnessed between bees and flowers, resistance wanes and productivity rises. Reflective journaling can further aid in understanding this natural flow embodied in tasks enhancing both efficiency and balance. Now consider Laozi's metaphor of water. It signifies an ideal approach to tasks, one of adapting and overcoming obstacles with strength, yet without any tension. Just as water maneuvers around an obstacle, breaking down tasks into smaller components can make them less intimidating and more manageable. But what about problems impeding our progress? The water provides an answer with its astounding flexibility which enables it to adapt and move around even the largest of boulders rather than trying to dislodge them. Such flexible adaptation to challenges in our lives, be it in study or work, paves a smooth path towards overcoming procrastination. As we learn from Taoism, harmony is the bedrock of productivity and adaptation, the catalyst of progress. 
Buddhism offers a unique perspective to tackle procrastination with its concept of mindfulness, a mental state achieved by focusing one's awareness on the present moment. Buddhism champions two key practices, vipassana and anapanasati. Vipassana entails gaining insight by observing sensations with keen self-awareness, assisting us in confronting procrastination tendencies head-on instead of evading them. Anapanasati, focusing on breath, establishes an anchor for the wandering mind. Promoting mental clarity, Anapanasati proves instrumental in deflecting distractions and procrastination alike. Turning theory into practice, daily mindfulness exercises build mental stamina against procrastination. Beginners can prime themselves by starting with a five-minute breath-focused meditation, enhancing focus. Furthermore, mindful reflection on our set targets and aspirations ensures our actions are optimally aligned with our goals. By periodically examining your path, you can get back on track faster when you stray. Digital aids like meditation apps and online goal tracking tools can facilitate this initiation into mindfulness. By embedding mindfulness into our daily routines and periodically reflecting on our goals, it's practical to make our actions dovetail with our objectives, thereby decreasing procrastination and imbibing mindfulness effectively. Rational pleasure may not be a familiar term, yet it served as the cornerstone of the philosophy of Epicureanism. While procrastination arises from fleeting indulgences, such as mindlessly binge-watching TV shows, Epicureanism championed the concept of rational pleasure. That is, the joy derived from investing time in learning intensive, often challenging skills that ultimately yield long-term satisfaction. Epicureanism urged us to tread with moderation, a value we often overlook in our pursuit of gratification. Like practicing moderate eating habits for health, balance and pleasure has its rewards. On the philosophical stage, Epicurus's garden personified the epicenter of fulfilling life. A celebration of self-sufficiency, joyous camaraderie, and the insatiable pursuit of knowledge, the garden challenged the notion of copious desires clouding our modern lifestyle. Simple living with a firm focus on meaningful activities mirrored the Epicurean ethos. By walking the Epicurean path, we can effectively swap fleeting distractions for the pursuit of wisdom and rational pleasure, serving as a potent antidote to procrastination. Practical philosophy for productivity brings to light how ancient wisdom can tackle modern procrastination. Stoicism, in essence, encourages action by regulating tasks and distractions through daily reflections on what can be controlled, thus reigning in procrastination. Taoism, on the other hand, echoes the rhythm of life. It emphasizes flourishing in tandem with opportunities and tasks, thus crafting a path of least resistance. The Buddhist philosophy manifests the power of presence, practicing mindfulness in the face of chores, thereby fortifying focus and keeping procrastination at bay. Lastly, Epicureanism emerges as admiration of the art of balance, interweaving work with pleasurable learning activities to avoid procrastination. By curating these philosophical tools according to personal needs and inclinations, we can devise individualized strategies to comfortably overcome procrastination. While not mutually exclusive, these philosophies offer different lenses of examining and handling procrastination. Hence, reflecting on their principles and attempts to integrate them can facilitate a comprehensive and effective suite of productivity tact to win against procrastination. Timeless wisdom is a roadmap guiding us smoothly through the treacherous territories of our everyday lives. Stoicism advises dissecting tasks into comprehensible segments, forging a path through our workload one step at a time. A devotee of Stoicism might therefore plan each day's tasks meticulously, making the towering mountain of work an achievable blueprint. Buddhism, on the other hand, illuminates the power of mindfulness. Picture allocating a few preliminary minutes for contemplation, then immersing ourselves entirely in the task at hand. By preempting procrastination and aligning tasks with our productivity rhythm, these antediluvian philosophies equip us with techniques relevant even in our high-speed, technology-driven era. Strategies like the Stoic Premeditatio Malorum still hold firm, underscoring the value of foreseeing potential challenges. Anticipated stumbling blocks become lesser demons, manageable through premeditated counter-strategies. Moreover, the Taoist philosophy of Wu Wei, or effortless action, transforms our perception of tasks, from grueling chores to rhythmic routines in sync with our innate productivity pulse. Thus, we stand armed with the wings of philosophically inspired productivity tools, 
ready to ascend beyond procrastination's luring grasp. Simply put, procrastination is a universal predicament. Deep within the annals of history, civilizations recognized its existence and sought remedies. Countless hours spent constructing pyramids and obelisks showcased an undeniable respect for time by ancient Egyptians, indicating an early comprehension of the procrastination problem. Stoicism, a philosophy cultivated in the fertile ground of Athens, aims to tame this beast using premeditatio malorum, asking individuals to imagine potential obstacles standing in the path of a task, readying our minds to ease through the realities of our responsibilities. It's a unique combat strategy, minimizing distractions by embracing them beforehand. Meanwhile, half a world away, Buddhism brewed its own antidote called mindfulness. A practice of cultivating present moment awareness, it's a tool that helps manage distractions effectively by acknowledging their existence, free of judgment, and forming a focus through meditation. Divergent in origins yet convergent in purpose, these philosophies shed light on the universal struggle with procrastination and offer timeless strategies tailored to individual temperaments. The narrative they pen echoes through ages, resonating with our modern condition. Prepare and be present. Embracing ancient paths, takes us through an exploration of historical perspectives on combating procrastination from Egypt, Stoicism, and Buddhism, along with practical suggestions for incorporating these philosophies into our daily routine. Egypt showcased early signs of combating procrastination, yearning for action rather than delayed tasks, with colossal constructs like the pyramids standing as timeless evidence. Meanwhile, Stoicism in Greece asserted minimizing distractions by seizing immediate action. Buddhism further enhances this notion, teaching how to hold the reins of distraction and center them through the practice of meditation. Taking these teachings of old and integrating them into the routines of modern life, we've parsed out tangible daily practices to bolster mental fortitude. A salient approach from Stoicism suggests starting your day by listing three controllable goals. Infusing your breaks with a moment of mindful breathing, as Buddhism proposes, can serve as an anchor for your wandering mind. Lastly, a general advice not tied to a specific philosophical nexus advises tackling tasks by breaking them down to approachable bits and setting reminders as waypoints to help navigate the journey. This amalgamation of historical insights and daily practices presents a potentially transformative guide for navigating the labyrinth of procrastination.